Thank you for that answer. Secretary Yellen, I want to commend the Treasury Department on yesterday's announcement sanctioning the virtual currency exchange Garnatex and Hydra, Russia's most prominent darknet market. On the one hand, I think this announcement demonstrates the concern I have about how the dark web and cryptocurrencies can be utilized for illicit and criminal behavior, and that cyber criminals operating in Russia often operate with support of Vladimir Putin and his regime, but more importantly, sends a message to Putin and cyber criminals around the world that the United States, in coordination with its allies, will continue to disrupt these networks and cut off all avenues for potential sanctions evasion by Russia. Uh, my next question, Secretary Yellen, is one of the many tragedies of Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine is the refugee crisis it has created. The United Nations estimates um, 500,000 Ukrainians have already fled, and early estimates suggested that refugee totals could reach up to 4 million. Support for Ukrainian refugees could cost hosting states as much as $30 billion over the next year, according to some estimates. How is the Treasury Department working to assess and possibly alleviate the economic and financial impact ref the refugee crisis is having in other countries in the region? Thank you for that. We're very concerned about the refugee crisis. Um, we are monitoring this situation very carefully and recognize the enormous burden that it's going to place on host governments that are already struggling with um, other stresses because of the pandemic and their proximity to the conflict. So we're working with other agencies and also with international partners to support the host governments and the refugees themselves. And there'll be a variety of channels, bilateral support, multilateral support. We're working with the international financial institutions. And as an example, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development recently announced a $2 billion euro package uh, to support Ukraine and other um, afflicted countries, but this will be a high priority for us. Thank you. I yield back. Thank you very much. The gentlewoman from Missouri, Mrs. Wagner, is now recognized for five minutes. I uh, thank you, Madam Chairwoman. And Secretary Yellen, thank you for joining us today. Last month, I introduced the Isolate Russian Government Officials Act uh, to ensure that Russia becomes a pariah in certain international organizations. I was very pleased to see the committee pass this legislation unanimously in March. Could you please reply, you know, with a simple yes or no, unless you feel the need to elaborate, regarding Russia's involvement with the following groups that are within Treasury's jurisdiction? Secretary Yellen, should Russia be removed from the G20? So President Biden's made it clear, and I certainly agree with him, that it cannot be business as usual in any, for Russia, in any of the financial institutions. He's asked that Russia be removed from the, the G20, yes. and I've made clear to um, my colleagues in Indonesia Good. that um, we, we will not be participating in um, a number of meetings if the Russians are Good. there. And I'm going to go down a, f a few others because this is all codified now in my legislation that I hope will make it to the floor. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased to hear uh, you were echoing the position of the administration and certainly of this legislation vis-a-vis -vis the G20. Should Russia be removed from the Financial Action Task Force? Um, that's one that I haven't, I haven't looked into. I'll, I'll get back to you on that one, but um, its role certainly should um, be minimal.